How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV. Today we're going to be going on over some tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now there are 13 tips and tricks that I've come up with to make your experience using this device a lot more smoother and a lot more nicer. So before we get started, go ahead and subscribe and click that bell icon that way you get notified on future videos just like the one you're going to watch today. Now all of these are really easy and really simple to do and will really improve your experience using this device. So I'm going to go into my notes and the first thing I have on the list is going to be remapping this side key. So pretty much for that you're going to want to go into your settings and go into advanced features and then you're going to click side key and essentially what this does is when you double tap your side key it will launch a certain application or a certain uh, action for you to um, have like a little shortcut and you can do the uh, quick launch which is pretty much default on your phone and then long press is going to be wake bixby but you can change this to whatever app you want so if you click on open app and then the gear icon you can open up any app that you want when you double tap that power button as you can see so if i want to do flashlight you could do flashlight and then if you double tap the button your flashlight will turn on double tap and it will turn off so that's a very cool feature and of course when you uh, get your phone on default press and hold is going to be on wake bixby but you can switch that to power off menu to where it'll give you your old school uh, power menu instead of having to scroll down over here and then click that power menu off to the top so very easy to do and very customizable Next is going to be reduced transparency and blur, and that's going to be invisibility enhancements. And essentially what this does is when you scroll down from the top into your app, into your notifications, see how it doesn't blur the background and just blacks it out. It's a little bit more of a smoother animation when you do this compared to going into visibility enhancements, which is going to be an accessibility, visibility enhancements, so if you turn this off, now if you go back, it sort of blurs the background on there. And if you don't have that on, it feels a lot smoother when you turn it off as far as uh, increasing that, that animation on your device. So it feels a lot smoother when you just turn this off and no lag whatsoever. Not that there is any lag on this device, it just makes it a lot smoother when you swipe down on your home screen like so. So it helps out a lot and makes things a little bit smoother. So next on the list is going to be a cool one that I just found out and this involves downloading GoodLock and the Home Up application. So in order to download GoodLock, you're pretty much going to want to go into your Galaxy Store. You're going to want to search for GoodLock. And then once you have that on there and you download it, you're just going to pretty much open that up. And then you're going to want to search for a home up app and make sure you download that as well and once you're done you're going to go ahead and click on home screen and then scroll down to scroll and app list and essentially what this does is this gives you a vertical app drawer rather than an horizontal app drawer like you get on older devices you can see right here this is a stock uh, Samsung launcher as far as all your apps go you scroll side to side well now with this one you go home and now you have the option to scroll vertically. Now it does give you some priority apps up here, pretty much apps that you use a lot or you use recently. And it also gives you all your apps down here and you can adjust these as far as sorting them, either custom order or alphabetical. And when you do alphabetical, it does give you a little bar down here to where you could search A, B, C, or D in alphabetical order for all your apps. But the main thing is it just gives you a vertical app drawer compared to a side to side horizontal. So very cool and very easy to do. So next is going to be another uh, good lock feature. So you're gonna want to go into good lock and customize your always on display. So if I go into my good lock, you're gonna want to search clock face and make sure you download that. And then you could choose either always on display or lock screen. So we're gonna choose always on display and this gives you a lot more options for your clock. So you could either choose a preloaded one that they have on here already made for you and they got quite a bit on here that you could choose. Or you could customize 
any one of these as well. So if I click on it and click the little pin, you could customize it. You could add a date on there. You could remove the picture. You can add a clock depending on what type of clock you want. If you go on here, you could add a digital or whatever you please. And you can resize these to whatever size you want to uh, customize this and place everything where you want to. So it's very nice and allows you to customize it. If you go into my clock, this is one that I have made right here with the date and sick Eric and the time. Go ahead and discard that. And then they also have some new ones, which is called the watch. And this pretty much gives you a watch face on your always on display. And again, you can customize these as far as colors go and adding different things on there like dates and things like that. So very customizable. And this will give you a much better always on display experience. So next on the list is going to be changing your display settings. So when you first get your S22 Ultra, and if you go into display and display screen resolution, it's going to be default at full HD+. Now you're going to want to take advantage of this big, beautiful display, and you're going to want to switch it to WQHD+, which is 1440 compared to 1080p. Now 1080p will save a little bit battery, but if you have a screen this big and this beautiful, and that is capable of it, you're gonna to want to change it to this highest resolution. And that's pretty simple by clicking WQHD and hitting apply. So next is uh, if you decide to put a screen protector on here and you notice that your fingerprint sensor isn't working as well. And after re-entering your fingerprints and you just notice that the screen isn't reacting as well, you're pretty much gonna to want to go into settings and display and scroll down to uh, touch sensitivity and you're gonna want to click this on and this will make the screen respond a little bit better when it comes down to touches so if you have a screen protector on there that's sort of um, messing up your touch responses you could click this on and it'll give you a better experience and it will improve your fingerprint sensor uh, if it's not acting right as well Next on the list is going to be a classic one that a lot of Android people do, and that is changing your animation speeds in developer options. So if you go into your settings and then you scroll down to about phone software and you click the build number about seven times, it's going to bring up a option called developer options on the bottom of your settings right here. Go down to drawing and you're going to want to click on window animation, transition and animator. You're going to click 0.5 and it's set by default on one times, which gives you a slower animation speed, which pretty much it draws out your animations. And if you click 0.5, it's going to make everything feel a lot more snappier and make these animations feel fast and quick, but still give you that animation effect on your device. So very, very cool. And it definitely will speed up your device a lot. Trust me, you'll see the difference. Next on the list is going to be RAM Plus. Now this is a new thing that is found on the S22s and it's a cool feature which pretty much gives you virtual RAM on your device. So you're gonna go into settings. I got a bunch of cats running around in the background. You're gonna click on battery and device care. And then you're gonna go into memory. Let that do its thing. And you're gonna click on RAM Plus down here. And this gives you four different options for virtual RAM. When you first get your device, it's gonna be default at four, but you can go all the way down to two, and then you can go at six, which is what I changed it, and eight. So this adds eight gigabytes of RAM on top of your 12 gigabytes you already have. And this pretty much just takes from your storage. So as long as you have plenty of storage, you'll be okay. And notice that um, I do have it on six, but keep in mind that when you do change these, you're going to have to restart your device and and just let it restart it and it'll be fine. So if I were to click on that, it says restart phone, restart now, or cancel, which I'm not gonna do that. And I did change it to six and this will improve your RAM management on your phone a little bit by taking that virtual RAM from your internal storage. So very cool and very nice and easy to use. Next is going to be wallpapers and styles and adjusting your color palette. So if you go into your settings and you click on wallpapers and styles, and then you go into color palette. This is a new looking feature compared to the uh, older one on say like the S21 series. If I go on here on the S21, you can see the color palette setting is a little bit different and it just looks a lot nicer in my opinion. It gives you more options as far as the colors compared to just one, two, and three over here on the older version. And pretty much this takes from your wallpaper 
and this will change your system icons, your quick tile toggles, your brightness slider and everything. So you could choose whichever one combination that you would like. And as you can see, it does change your buttons and your colors depending on what type of wallpaper you got. So it's very cool and very customizable and it looks a lot better on the S22 Ultra. And that is pretty simple as far as changing that goes. So check that out and customize your phone even more. So next on the list is going to be split screen and multi window customization. So this is in advanced features and labs. So if you scroll into your settings and then go into advanced features and labs, and this is some new stuff that they included on here. They are exper experimental which one is multi-window for all apps so this allows you to use multi-window for all of your apps that you have which is really cool and then the one i'm talking about uh, full screen and split screen is this hides the status bar and your navigation bar so if i were to go into split screen mode and do samsung Sh or amazon shopping as you can see the navigation is gone and your status bar is gone which gives you a little bit more screen space to navigate your split screen on here. So that's very cool. If you want to do things like this, you have more space on here to uh, have two apps side by side or on top of each other. So you're not taking up space with that status bar or your navigation bar. So very, very cool and very easy to use. So next is on the list is going to be customized air actions and that is in your S Pen settings. So if I were to take out my S Pen settings, you go into air actions and this gives you a whole bunch of different options as far as going back and home and recents. So say you hold the button and you make a little arrow like that, it'll allow you to go back or forward or open up your settings right there. So you have a lot of air actions with the S Pen. Well here you could customize all of these. So if I want to customize one, so that arrow right there, if I click on that, you can do home, back or recents or you could even launch something or an app if you prefer on that certain action. So you could customize all of these and you could go down and choose uh, what happens when you perform air actions in the apps below. So you could choose the apps and you could choose your camera as, as well to take pictures. And then down here, if you want to choose media, single press, double press and gestures, and then all your up, you could do play, pause, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with each gesture that you use the S Pen for as far as controlling your media, your camera, and things like that. So single press right here, take a picture or do nothing in your camera. And you can do a whole bunch of stuff with the air actions with the S Pen and customize each and every one of them to your liking. So next on the list is going to be adjust keyboard size. So if you go into uh, your settings, and then search for, I believe it's um, general management and then go into your keyboard settings. You can adjust the size. So you go into size and transparency. So when you first get your keyboard, it's going to be at its smallest size right here. And I like to set it to the largest size. That way it gives you more typing space, especially on a big screen like this. It gives you a lot of space to type and it's pretty easy to do in your Samsung keyboard settings. You're just going to want to go into size and transparency and adjust the size, just scroll down, or you could even do it this way as well and adjust the size to your liking. For me, like I said, I like to make it as big as possible. So very easy to do, and it gives you more uh, space as far as your keyboard goes. So you could do your typing and stuff like that without having no issues on your screen or anything. It gives you a lot more real estate for that keyboard. So last on the list is going to be download a wallpaper app. And as you can see, I do have some really nice wallpapers on here as far as, uh, downloading them as right here i have this one go and unlock it and then i have this one as my home screen and there's a really cool app called wallipop and this gives you a whole bunch of different types of wallpapers that you could choose from very materialistic you uh wallpapers as you can see right here very colorful and nice and everything and they also do have uh categories on here so you can do amoled animals and birds and this gives you an amoled right here to where it's all blacks and very dark but still very colorful they have a lot of clean wallpapers on here on wallipop that you could choose from and they're very nice i really like them a lot i found this app out 
and then I started using it like literally all the time. I have this set on all my phones and they have really nice wallpapers and a lot to choose from. So whatever you like on here, they will have it on here and find something that you really enjoy a lot. So very nice wallpapers, Wallipop. I will post a link. You can download this off the Play Store and enjoy. So there are 13 tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and pretty much any other device that you have Samsung wise. Some of these tips will work on any Samsung device. Of course, if you don't have the S Pen, it's not going to work on something like the S21, but they are universal and they will make your uh, experience using the S22 a lot easier and nicer. So subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.